Hi, this is Bo Sanchez, and welcome to the Truly Rich Club's Financial Literacy 3 Video Guide. I am excited to share this with you because right now, I talk to a lot of people who have so much problems about their financial life. They're thinking of, you know, I have a job, Brother Bo, but it's not enough for the bills, you know, and I'm just constantly running after paying debt and paying bills. I know what you're, what you're experiencing right now because I was that too. Once upon a time, I had very little money and, you know, lining up. To a, to a restaurant, you know, or to a fast food stall. And then, you know, looking at the prices, you know, what, what can I afford? You know, opening my wallet and looking and saying, okay, I, I, can't I can't afford that, but I can afford that. You know, it's crazy. Just, I, I, I know that difficulty. Or this difficulty of wanting to help someone, you know, a friend, a relative, asking for help, and you really, really want to help but you have no means of helping. It is so frustrating. And, you know, face it, looking at your salary at the 15th and at the 30th, and then almost all of it gone because you have to pay this debt and pay that debt and pay that loan. I know what you're experiencing. And if you are this person I'm talking to right now, then this video series is for you because we're going to talk about financial literacy. You know, many people I've realized, and that included me, you know, I did not know anything about money. I did not know how money worked. I did not know the proper mindset. What happened was that I, all, I always had these blocks in my mind that prevented me from growing in my financial life. And so this is what we're going to talk about in three videos. And our goal is that from someone who is financially ignorant, from someone who's financially illiterate, I want to bring you to that point where you are financially literate, somebody with a financial abundant mindset. That's where I want to bring you in three videos. By the way, you might be wondering, who am I? You know, what's this guy talking about? I've been helping people in their financial life, giving financial literacy and helping people gain financial abundance for the past 20 years. I started by, you know, learning and then passing it on right away because I believe it's the best way to, to learn something is when you teach it. So 20 years ago, I started, you know, giving teachings, you know, and later on writing a book about it and then book after book after book. Now we've been able to help thousands of people grow in their financial life. And uh, that's what I want to share with you today. My first lesson is this. You have to change the blocks in your mind that are preventing you from receiving the abundance that's already there. Meaning to say, yes, as, as cliche at it, as it may sound, it's all about mindset. Unless you change your mindset, you will not grow financially. Once upon a time, I did not like money. Once upon a time, I hated the idea of business. Once upon a time, I thought that, you know, money is of the devil. <laughs> and if you're talking about money, reading about money, thinking about money, oh, you're, you're really far away from God. That was the first block that was in my mind. The other, the other block, and, and you, might, you might not be religious, you know, but you still would have a scarcity mindset. It's possible. I had a scarcity mindset because I thought money was evil. Now, there are people who are not religious, but they still have a scarcity mindset. Why? Because they, they do not like rich people. They think that rich people are crooks. They're, I remember one time I was, I, was, I was driving with this other guy. The other guy was a driver. I was a passenger. And then we passed by this house with six cars in the garage. You know, big garage, six cars, and all the, all the cars were, you know, top-notch SUVs. And then the guy driving, he looked at it, and then he said, he told me, smuggler siguro yan. You know, uh, he might be a smuggler. And then I looked at him and said, why do you think so? You know, and, he, he's, he's, and he, my friend said, he's got so many cars. And I said, um, wow. That, that's pretty, pretty fast conclusion. What if he has a great business? What if he has a transportation business? You know, 
Meaning to say, here's the thing. It's possible that our scarcity mindset comes from the fact that we don't like rich people. We are suspicious of rich people. All rich people are crooks. All rich people are evil people. And so why would you want to become rich if you think that rich people are bad people? We, we, there are so many cobwebs in our mindset that we need to remove if we want to receive financial abundance. And I, I'm going to say this. This is very, very important. I was, I was, giving, a, I was giving a seminar. Uh, they invited me to give a seminar to accountants, CPAs, in a room. You know how many? 3,000. <laughs> and was, I was just, whoa. I, was, I received a letter. Uh, and they said, that I'm, I'm going to give this talk. And then it's crazy. You know, you know the, the, the topic that they wanted me to give? Financial literacy. And I was saying, wait a minute. These are CPAs. These are accountants. These are, these are people who manage multi-millions. And, and what, what are you talking about? Me giving financial literacy? They, they know more than I do. But then I went there. I talked to the people. And it's true. In the lobby, I was mingling with them. They were managing a lot of money, but they were not managing their own money. Why? Mindset. It's all mindset. And I hope that right now, as you're watching me, you're saying to yourself, oh, I need to change my mindset, Bo. How? We're going to talk about that in video number two. But before I talk about that, I just want to, I, I, I'm trying to guess what you're thinking. Maybe right now you're thinking, you know, Bo, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've, I've always been poor and my family's poor and my, my, my relatives are poor. And, you know, yeah, I, I want to be rich because I, I, I want to pay my debts and I want to pay my bills. But, but is that really for me? I, I, I think of myself as poor. That's what we're going to challenge. And that's what I'm going to help you break. You need to break that identity, that label that says poor. We're going to break that in, in video number two. And maybe you're thinking, Bo, uh, this whole idea of getting, you know, becoming rich is, is I think that's for intelligent people like you. Um, uh, I, I, I've not, you know, my, I've, ha I've always had bad grades in school and I'm not, I'm not very, you know, that's for geniuses. Hey, you're, you, you don't know who you're talking to. I, I had bad grades all the way from kindergarten to college. Uh, bad grades. I'm, I'm, I'm not. No, it's, it's for anyone who's willing to learn and who's willing to change. This, this, is, this is my message for you. And again, some people will say, Brother Bo, you're, you're known for teaching people how to invest in the stock market, right? Uh, you know, that's for rich people. Sorry, sorry, I'm not, that's not for me. Hey, I taught my maid how to invest in the stock market. And I taught my driver and, and I taught the messengers in our office and I taught... Our, our clerks, I, I taught, I teach anyone. And we're going to remove that from your brain as well. That block, you can receive financial abundance. You can receive financial growth. And you will be surprised. So on video two, that's what we're going to talk about. The specifics of how to change your financial mindset. I repeat, it's all about mindset and without if you don't change your financial mindset, it won't work. This whole thing, even if you know a lot of stuff, we're going we're gonna to change that. We're going to help you. I'm going to help you in video number two on how you can have transfer shift from a scarcity mindset to one of having an abundance mindset for your financial life. Before I end this video, I want to know more about you. There's a comment section below. I want you to tell me, hey, do you think you have a scarcity mindset? How does it manifest? And can you give me examples? How, how, how you look at money, how, how you think about money. Do you think, were you like me before that, you know, money was bad, money was evil, uh, businesses, you know, for crooks. And um, did, did you think that, you know, oh, rich people are bad people. So, so tell me, tell me about you. Tell me about your, your mindset right now. Uh, love, I'd love to read about it, about them and about you. And um, hey, if you like this video, please do like it and share it to your friends so that together you and your friends will grow 
in your financial mindset. Thank you so much. I'll watch, I'll, I, I need you to join me for video number two.